on the next episode. We're heading to Hoover Dam. So, come along with us. Check it out. Laughlin, Nevada. We're on Highway 68. It's a steady climb. It's going to connect the highway Interstate 93. Yep, a few homes out here. A couple of gas stations. There's not a whole lot out here. So make sure you have plenty of water and uh, try to stay cool. That's it, last stop. Right there you got a little peekaboo of Colorado River and right now we're on the Hoover Dam Bypass Bridge. <laughs> That's pretty cool right there. It has high rails, you know, high profile vehicles. They want to stay in the left lanes. It gets pretty windy out there. Right here, this is our exit. So we got those power lines, you know where they're coming from. Hoover Dam. I tell you what, they sure made this nice. The 215, it's a bypass highway there, connects that bridge. Extremely nice. In the old days, this was the only way to get across that Colorado River. Yeah, go on this little road, big rigs and all, and go across on the Hoover Dam. So right here's a little checkpoint. They put this here in 2001 after 9-11 and uh, they're actually building a permanent building. So they got a little work uh, that they're doing there. On the right side, that's how you get to the bypass bridge if you want to walk on it. You got to have some nerves crossing that bridge. It gets uh, kind of windy up there and uh, it's always busy. On the left over here, they have like a junkyard for when they overhaul the turbines. They put the old parts there. Pretty neat. You could check it out if you go on the old railroad trail there. Yeah, look at all those towers there. You know, we're getting close. It's nothing but rocks over here. Just solid rock for the dam to connect. Bunch of power cables and towers and a big old bridge right there. Now that's pretty cool. On YouTube they have it where you can watch that being built. It has a time lapse video. It's pretty cool. I forgot how many years it took to build it. But yeah I remember going on the website and checking out that time lapse camera. That was pretty neat. Each end being built and it connect right in the center. Yeah, can you imagine the old days of big rigs going on this here? I remember seeing some pictures on YouTube. Alright, they also give tours on this here dam. I've been on a couple of them. But uh, it's pretty neat. If you've never been on it, gotta check it out. You got parking here. I think it's like ten dollars a park on the left. Got a little monument for the builders there. That came out really nice. They did a good job on it. All right, I'm excited. I can't wait to get out and check out the water, the dam, and just look at the water level. Woo. There's your elevator on the right. They're actually doing some repairs on those statues. They came out nice. I think I've only been on that one side once. But uh, there's your spillway on the left. They have two spillways. And there's your uh, intake towers right there. On one side you're in Nevada time. The other side, you're on Arizona time. One hour flies by quick. Look at that water. 
Wow. All right, let's go find a parking spot. It's actually elevated right there. It takes you uh, to the tour. All right, we're crossing Colorado River right now. And there's a lot of cement here. They have a lot on the left here. They charge too. I think it's like ten dollars. But it's free after this here lot. You can park anywhere you want. If you got a motorhome, camp, or trailer, you have uh, plenty of spots on top. Oh boy, look at that there. We're here June twenty second, and the water was four foot higher. I mean, it's just going down quick. I think with the monsoons, it went up like three inches, four inches, but you know, that's not a lot. You figure in a month and a half, it went down four feet. So three, four inches doesn't do a whole lot for the lake. You know, since they built the third intake valve, cause the first one's inoperable now, just makes you wonder like how low is it gonna go and what's gonna happen to the dam if it, the cement just sits out there in the sun is it going to deteriorate I mean we'll get to that point or is it going to fill back up I mean it doesn't look good but uh yeah it makes you wonder wow look at that man we look at that Imagine water being that high. That was back in the 80s. I remember that. We were there. It's a solid rock there. Yeah, a bunch of boats over there. A lot of people here today. Everybody's getting their pictures and their videos. And boats are all around there. It's sad to see the water that low. Back in the old days, in the 80s, when I had my boat, we used to ski on that lake. We were diving off the cliffs there. It was only about 20 foot lower than that white line. Check out those spillways. I remember when water was spilling over them. Now look at that, just dried rock. Wow. You don't realize how big those things are until you get next to them. Wow, well, they got two spillways. Left side and right side. It's sure warm out here. It's like 105 degrees out here. My camera kept turning off. It was just overheating. And it switched from 4K to 1080. It was so hot. Alright, let's head down some stairs. Alright, check out that manhole right there. A little spiral staircase. I'd love to go down there and check it out. Probably winds up in a little opening right down there. Way at the end. Look at that. Look how dry that is. That hasn't seen water in a long time. Oh, look at that tunnel right there. Wouldn't that be fun just jumping there and go out the other side? There's the intake towers. All right, we're on the other side now. You don't realize how big that is until you get over here and 
Just look at that. It is just bone dry. Those gates haven't worked uh, since in the 80s. There's just so much cement right there. It's sure pretty. Sad, but pretty. Just mechanical stuff. Engineer at the best. All right, let's mosey on. We're going ahead to the center. I like to get on the other side. All right, let's cross. There's not a lot of people on this side. So here we are. Alright. I couldn't wait to get over here. I wanted to check this out. And just imagine sliding out down there and wind up on the air side. That is pretty cool. It's a big old slide. And look at all that cement right there. Wow. Imagine how big this is. It's just enormous. From what I remember, when you go on that tour, they take you all the way down there and check out the turbines and stuff. I remember being so clean. And then they take you outside and you're looking up at the dam from down there. That was pretty cool. And check out that bypass bridge. I just can't get enough of this area. And your spill spillways goes all the way out there. They empty out one on each side. So if you were jumping that spillway, <laughs> you'll wind up over there. Probably dry right now. Wow. Alright, one more look before we head back to the car. And it's just remarkable just how low it has gone, how high it was, your intake towers are just uh, barely getting enough water to keep the turbines uh, turning. But once that water gets so low, they're not efficient and they're going to produce less electricity and pretty much they'll get inoperable. Kind of wonder when, when is that going to happen? At the rate we're going, we better have some good plans out there to get some water over here. Right now we're on the Arizona side. Just a little past the middle. I just lost one hour. I heard when they were building this here dam and the Lake Powell Dam was a reserve for Lake Mead, but we were like the wettest years. I think there's like 10 years, a decade of the wettest years, and they built all these dams, and now it's just uh, dry months and dry years is slowly uh, emptying them out. So it makes you wonder. I remember when the water was right up to the docks right there. It's 
Wow. Where's all the boats gone? They took off. Alright, let's mosey on and get out of here. So look at that bedrock right there. Imagine all that there with water. And they got some pillars there, cement pillars, and uh, I was wondering what they are. If anybody knows what they are, be so kind and leave a comment. I wonder why they got that little brick fence right there. To control water when it's going down or what? That's a good little hike. Check it out. They're way on the other side. Alright. We went all the way to the end. They got it blocked off. A little helipad there. But that's it. This is how you used to get to the other side. So they got a little nice little rest stop here. A little table. But. That was it. So let's check out that little store. All right, let's go uh, find a parking spot. And we're going to visit somebody here. I'll show you who he is. I'll check it out. Got our own tour guy here. On June 6, 1933, the first concrete for the dam was poured. Screening plants to produce the sand and gravel so project dotted the desert, and plain loads of cement wound their way to the canyon rim. For two years, buckets of concrete were stored from the sun. So tired. So tired. The great gypsy, and I can see your fortune. Oh, yeah, I don't want to know my fortune. The concrete was poured in sections. Then later, the gaps between the blocks were filled with more cement to form a solid dam. All right, here we go. We're heading on out. One more look at the little statues. Get a look at the bridge. Check out all the power cables there, towers. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Give me a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and uh, stay tuned for our next video. We're heading on that bypass bridge up there. So if you're scared of heights, don't watch the next video. See you real soon.